Go, go. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Me, I'll tune in to Get Hip TV. As y'all can see from the title, we got Wack reacting to Meek Mill recently going at him. So, man, we're going to get into that and I'm going to let y'all hear what Wack had to say. So, man, stay tuned for that. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. So if y'all are not hip, Meek Mill recently went to Twitter to leave a message for Wack saying, never been to or support the hood day. Nobody can verify where you came from. Talking a lot on Clubhouse. Yeah, he in the program for sure, for sure. Online with fake extortion stories speaking on a famous person, LOL. And along with this tweet, Meek Mill also posted a link to a video of a pyro by the name of Marv that's been calling Wack out. So Wack responded to both of them on Clubhouse. I'm gonna roll the audio and I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Yo, Yo Wack, you heard uh, Meek Mill diss you today? Nah, I ain't heard nothing. Shit loose, I just left your neck of the woods. Just went through there. Oh, nah, what you mean? This one. I explained it to him, folks. Basically, the nigga, the nigga went on Twitter and said some shit. He responded basically to, um, that shit loose, that, that shit loose when he ran up on Meek and shit. And, and Meek had to I call Ross or some shit like that. I ain't had nothing to do with that. That wasn't my shit. He got me in. Dude, he, act, oh, he, uh -huh. he he acting like he mad at you because you did the interview, I guess. Because that's the clip that's playing on the video and shit. It's when you and Loose Cannon were sitting up there with Adam and shit. So he mad at me because I did an interview. I don't know, man. You know you know he how me do, at, man. Oh, he not mad at the nigga that said. You know why that is? Because. My name is gonna get people to look. Ain't nobody looking at it. Exactly. It don't hey, even make sense. That dude, Marv, too, uh, totally put the name and totally, Antonio Marv. The dude yeah, but Marv is Marv is a rat. Marv took the stand and and told him Bone had it. For real? Shug Knight, on my mama and the Shug Knight. Uh, um, Terry Carter. Oh, TC. When TC got yeah, that nigga took the stand and told him bone out. That nigga Marv went around, around like he an OG Paru and he done been on the stand. Bro, you gotta remember though, bro. This dude seventy something years old. Right? See, some of y'all here go the problem with some of y'all, right? Niggas be so thirsty to hear something they don't use their brain. If you 70 something years old, we can, let's go back to 1990. Let's go through the death row era. Let's go, let's go through all the eras. And the first time we hear something from you is 18 months ago when you say whack name. Right. Let's just be real. Let's go through all the rap songs where niggas are shouting out names. Let's go, you 70 and you bad. Somebody would have heard of you. I challenge anybody, give me any history on dude before 2022 when he starts screaming my name. I ain't never heard that nigga name before. Even after, even after he started saying nigga, your name. I seen him, I seen him one time. They asked me to pull up on Rose Transit Central. They had a mayor. Uh, it was running for mayor's office. The church group was there supporting him. The homie GB had a taco truck over there from West Side Power Road. They asked me to pull up to support. I pulled up. Dude was with the church people. Suit and tie on. He said, yo, I'm a fan, bro. My name is Marvin. Uh, I'm with the, whatever church was there. And we support the mayor. Thank you for coming out. Nigga never introduced himself as a gang member. Only time I've ever seen this dude in my life. And that was like maybe me in 2021. So. Yo, I'm a, never seen him before in my life. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, Ghost. Uh what 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 one hundo was saying is a is a fact because 
as much music we've been listening to and shout outs and everything like that, I can't even say the nigga yeah. name the right way. I don't even know how to never heard no I ain't never heard the nigga. I, I can't even say his name. I, I think ain't the nigga... never seen him <laughs> in a cop <laughs> video and nothing. His biggest claim to fame, right? Is screaming my name. Let, him, let me tell you who put him on the camera first. The old man from A Trey Gangster. Uh, Melvin Butler, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Melvin Farmer. Melvin Farmer. Melvin Farmer took the nigga with him up there when he was doing the Charleston White shit. Now watch this. Now I'm gonna pull his coattail and get Charleston White his points. When Charleston White said Compton, Pa Rules, Crips, Bloods, you was there. Why you didn't do nothing? You know what's crazy about that? What in the video? I'm telling you, bro, what it is. I ain't never like, bro. You gotta remember, if you're a nobody and you want somebody to start learning your name, niggas can hate on me all they want. I am the Drake feature when it comes to social media. They all do it. Just mention whack name and that the old nigga been screaming my name for 18 months. Maybe like nine months a year or something. Man, that nigga know damn well. What are you talking about? Did, what did Meek Mill say? Meek Mill said a hood day. Shout out to Ask the Meek room. Mill. Ask Meek Mill when my hood day is. Yeah, that's what he said on his uh, caption. He can't, he can't tell you with my. See, this, this is what I mean by out of town niggas got to start shutting the up because what YG did wasn't a hood day. That ain't nobody hood day. Yeah, that shit was a peace walk, right? I mean, if that's what you want to call it, I'm gonna be real. That was a promo for YG album coming out. Oh, oh y'all You ain't gonna see, you ain't gonna see YG over there no more doing nothing related to that, bro. You don't never see YG over there. When the last time you seen YG do a vlog or some shit over there? Say whack name. Yo, yeah, whack. This other that I had touched, Buka Pong, took me two years to catch up with him. He get f***ed up, phase one. Phase two, we gonna strip him next. This nigga went on no jumper, said he been knowing me all my life. I've never seen this nigga in my life, bro. Who, who you talking about? The Buka Pong nigga. Comedian. He called me saying, whack, why you had that to me? I'm a comedian. I was just clowning on no jumper. He said he played me on no jumper. He tell Adam, I've been knowing whack or eighty them. I've been knowing whack all my life, right? And say some weird shit about my something, right? And you don't even know I the nigga. On Paru, I ain't never seen this nigga. I don't know this nigga, bro. But he got caught in the club and got choked out, slammed all on the tables. Then I called him. Phase one. You in Lancaster, right? Phase two coming. He had Yuck Mouth try to call me on the three-way to apologize. F*** all that. See, social media, it needs that element. Niggas think they can't get found. I'm the finder. Niggas know how to find you. Then at that point, it's just a bag. This Marv nigga, I don't know this nigga, bro. I, I don't. I seen a nigga one time. He was in a suit representing the church people for the man. Well, why you the just man. on there at the same time? Y'all know each other. He said he know you. Hey, you is you a dummy? Did you just not hear me tell you I don't know this nigga? So if a nigga tell you he know tell people you never seen this nigga in your life. Is he gonna brainwash you that you know him? 
what he talked about. See, it's slow niggas like this who don't do the math. Okay, you say you 70. You an OG Paul Rule. We ain't heard nothing of you ever on no movements, no videos, no mentions, no nothing until you start screaming whack name. Hey, what, what you think about that, uh, that, I know you, that audio that we, uh, by the local. What audio? With, uh, the blog, by the low. Well, who? With the blog and by the low. I ain't hear it, I ain't, they played it in Beast Room when I went to sleep when they was playing the audio with me and Loose talking to do. And in the day, Spider, don't see, here go another deflection. Dude is on the phone telling me and Loose, Spider Loke telling us, Big you don't, don't like Nipsey. Nipsey got too big for the program. They didn't give a f about the funeral. You and Loose been saying, Spider Loke get on the phone with me and confirm it. You went on the internet like they lying. So Spider, here go the deflection, Chuck. Why you addressing me? This is the nigga you just talked to. Did he address him? Hey, you know what address crazy. me for? Hey, why you, know why you address? Because it's a deflection. Why you not addressing the nigga who's exposing everything you told him? This nigga from Nebraska, bro. Yeah, he denying it. Uh, he talking about some. Oh, that, see, that, see, that Chuck, Chuck, niggas need to start using their brain. Spider, this clip is these niggas telling whack. Everything you said, what is confirming what Wack and Loose been saying about Big U. But you been acting like you standing with Big U, like ain't none of it going on. But yet you tell this Nebraska nigga, yeah, he don't f with Nip. He laughed at Nip. He didn't give a f about Nip. Nip got too big for the program. That's why it is. And the Nebraska niggas like, nigga. Then why are you standing with this nigga and acting like we're loose and whack saying his cap? Spider responds. You know what they do again? Use the Drake name of podcast land. Put it on whack. Whack ain't saying shit. <laughs> why you ain't addressing the nigga that's exposing you? And he ain't denied, though. He ain't denied none of that shit. Why? He was just trying to paint a different my, narrative. My but he ain't point, denied it. shit. My point exactly, bro. Mention whack name. Hey, bro, this is what it is. Everybody praying for my downfall, right? This what niggas don't understand. I didn't fail before. I didn't fail 10, 20 times. I just get back up. Hey, whack, tell them what they, what they try to do and try to get me to go to jail. They playing Chris. Thank you. Give Alex Alonzo, this nigga Alex Alonzo, a video. Just don't even know the video exists till after the fact. Luke get a call from the probation officer two days ago, telling him we got a video sent in and a call from a guy, uh, Alex Alonzo, that's a something some for LA County, and he's saying. You're terrorizing cat people. He got an employee that works for him that's blind that you're attacking. And he's on video beating somebody. And he's a, a minister society. He should be locked up all this. Now, what Big U didn't did is, look what he do. Only two people got the video. Luce didn't even know Big U had the video until Big U sent it to him. When after two days after this situation happened, right? He gave it to Alonzo. He sent it in to the probation people. So now they now are. Got a warrant for arrest. Now he got a warrant, right? These niggas, I keep telling y'all, bro, these niggas ain't that. Everything that made them that been pulled back from them. I just told Lusto and 600 about three weeks ago, bro, we didn't beat up on them too much on this social media shit. They don't want the street shit. Big, you scared to go to jail. He ain't going to 
Bill Knight. He know what he's dealing with playing with us. He know we want to play that game. He know we want to play that game. He know that. That's why he didn't cover that 600 shit. He knew what that was. He said, nigga, ain't nobody coming up. They going to me. He know that. Everybody know that. So what he do? Come on, bro. We've been violating that nigga for down there two years. And we let the whole world know where we was going to be. Did we not? Did we not? Hey, that's yeah. Pasadena. That's neutral land to all of us. That ain't our neighborhood. No. Right? The forties was there. All kind of niggas was there. So, you know, niggas on to I told them, I said, bro, it's time to just talk to these niggas with success. Let them read about niggas in the forest, bro. Focus on making the other moves because dude is over there. He's defeated. He got a fair team over there that he thought could help him that came. He didn't now realize that them niggas, that shit over there ain't going to work. So, you know, they going to play. They going to they gonna play dirty. My Big you got them niggas running, still running content from three years ago, man. Bro, listen, bro. Big that shit, wow. Dummy. Them niggas is dummies. That's the blind leading the blind, bro. That, that's all that is. Bro. Everything everything they come up with, you like I said, Spider Log did not address dude. Spider ain't stupid. He know he said the wrong thing. The audio gonna come out. Yeah. Hey, well, that's what I was thinking because he was like being cautious with his words. I'm like, he must, he, he must know that it's an audio. And he like, I can't be mine. Why, that I didn't say why it, would he put it on me when the nigga that's exposing you got nothing to do with me? I, if you listen to the audio, I'm thinking we called him talking about some other shit. I have no idea he was finna tell me what he started telling me. But again, I'm gonna talk about whack. Want some drink? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you talk. About I'm gonna talk about whack. Two movie. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna talk about whack. And um, it's gonna be enough for niggas gonna think this, think that, but get away from this, that, and that. All right, man. So as y'all heard from that, that's what Wack 100 had to say. Let me get y'all thoughts and opinions of it down in the comment section below. And if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. Till next time, we out.